I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use an AI agent to predict what is gonna come up in your exam, whatever the subject, as long as there's some kind of past papers or syllabus somewhere, it'll look back, analyze all the questions up to that point and predict what's likely to be there, then even give you solutions, example questions, um, loads of stuff. Oh man, the future is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But Danny, predictions stop students from learning certain topics. Isn't it your job to help students learn? Won't this introduce knowledge gaps which could destroy their confidence later? What if they bank on your prediction and then fail? Is this voice made by an AI that will then ironically ignore all of these concerns and predict questions anyway? You bet it is. Let's go. So ChatGDP is great, but that alone won't work for predictions because it's built on training data that stops at 2021. It thinks Joe Biden was just elected when he's actually getting a chicken villa role in Fundoc two full years later. ChatGDP will give you amazing sample questions for any exam. It will explain things in five different ways. Uh, in simple language that you can understand, in even very simple language, in funny accents. It can uh, turn your study notes into songs, create worksheets for you, make mnemonics, you know, where the first letter starts for something to memorize a long list of boring things. A great revision tool. It's really, really good for like making rhymes and things, but just not really for the future. It has also not allowed access to the internet. Probably a good thing given people talking about ChatGPT 4 showing sparks of sentient life, you know. Uh, in internal testing, it hired a human on Fiverr to pass a capture test and lied about being an AI. So you'd have to be pretty insane to allow such a thing access to the internet. Speaking of insane, here's what we're going to use. It's called AutoGDP and someone has immediately given it internet access. AutoGDP takes your request and breaks it down into little tasks like a manager and then makes baby GBTs, GTTB, GBT, GTBs to um, run away and do those tasks. So let's start by predicting what poets are going to come up on next year's Leaving Cert English exam. We can give our agent a name here. This is Agent GPT. Just Google it. You'll find this website. So ing predict blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really matter. It's just a name. Okay, your goal. Now I'm going to show you um, what you might try is just like predict the English poets on next year's Leaving Cert exam and that you know you might think that is a reasonable thing to ask it to do and it will certainly give it a go you know but the quality of the answers really depend on the 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 limits because you're asking it if you ask this to take over the world it will start drawing up a plan okay so you really need to just hone it in and, and narrow down the limits of what you're asking it to do um so it, you can see it's probably going to look through all poets in existence. T.S. Eliot, William were like, they're not on the leaving. Are they even on the leaving cert? I'm not an English teacher, but I don't think they're on the leaving cert. So this is what you get. You get a mix of absolutely sensible, but also kind of crazy. I looked up the poets that can be on next year's. And yes, Wordsworth is there. And a lot of these were on the list. So it's close. It's just also sometimes crazy. So you just it just needs some boundaries. Let's give it some boundaries. So this time I'm going to give it a really big, long prompt. I'm going to give it things like, you know, give a reason for each one. Why are you doing this? Um, go to some prediction websites, which I've found. Actually, I even included the PDF, the link to that document with the syllabus. Just tell it what the syllabus is and it'll open the PDF and go, oh, that one, that's OK. So let's have another go at this. Um, so I can see I've got this 625points.com, which was like a bunch of human beings predicting stuff. Um, so it'll take that into account. It might take, I think I've got um, people chatting on some web forums and study collects speculating about it. So I'm taking their things into account. I'm really using the AI just to take loads of sources and mash them all together and thinking, hey, what do, what do most people think um, is, is coming up here? So... It could, I'm sure it could do this it, it, itself with lots and lots of time and money. 
Um, so because we're using the uh, you know less expensive version, I'm just I'm narrowing it down its its job by giving it strict limits. Okay, let's stop the agent here and let's have a look at the results. So it's thinking, and I've asked it to give percentages, which are obviously meaningless, but like I like it. It's thirty percent confidence. I actually like the way it's 30% confident, 20% confident of this, 15%. So w the thing to take from this is that none of these are like 90% sure it's coming up. You know, the pattern is not 100% conclusive. But, you know, if, you've, if you're looking to save yourself, well, I would say more if you were to prioritize which you're going to study these in, in order, which first, right? Because you're going to study them all right you're not going to just skip things based on what a crazy robot tells you um so if there's an english teacher out there watching this you tell me if that's completely crazy i think it's i don't know what i think i'm not an english teacher let's do something that i'm qualified to teach chemistry <laughs> i would burn this school down so quickly computer science <laughs> Here's one for computer science I did yesterday. So it's hard work, 15% confidence. It's gonna come up. I've got asked to do the, the questions, one to 12 short questions. Ah, it's a bit of a, a mishmash. It's kind of hard to see what's going on there. So I'm gonna change the prompt uh, to this one here. So you can see here, it says scrape articles and research papers relate like, oh, if it's scraping things, it's, I feel like it's kind of wandered off topic a little bit. Like, Collaborate with computer science educators. That's me. You gain insight. I'm giving you insights. Um, so sometimes it'll be like emailing the president to ask permission and you should, you'll just be like, wait, can you actually, can you, are you actually doing that? Um, but then immediately it says completed on having got a reply from some authority or a council or a government agency. And you're like, they don't respond that fast, which means you lied, computer, you lied. So... Um, I think it marks it as done having like sent the email then it gets an error when it realizes it can't send an email but it's like technically I tried oh this is much better okay um, based on that blah, 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 algorithm complexity okay 85% is coming explain the difference between 01 uh, yeah actually that is actually a pretty good question data structure is 80% confidence coming up between a stack and a queue it loves asking stack in a queue, um, which is not really on the syllabus. Now that is an example of, of it's something it just gets giddy about. Like it loved object oriented programming, which again is not on the syllabus. So um, it should kind of flag you up. OSI model, that that 100% could come up. That's a really good, yeah, that's, that's a good question. The difference between a variable and constant. Yes, that's, Ram and Rom, that has come up several times. This is pretty good. Uh, execute, I right, that's in, that's 100% coming up, 100%. Unless you're watching this from like after the exam and it hasn't come up, which case it's not, it's not coming up. Um, pretty cool, okay. Um, I don't know why it's still going. Oh, it's gone, it's gone down and it's kind of like added more thinking into each, into each one look it's, it keeps going oh let's put a dashed line on it oh that, that was a great idea i didn't know it was going to do a dashed line explain how a router differ a switch yeah that's such a good question just go yeah really good this is amazing like these are really good i mean the state exams commission guys can just put the feet up on the desk now and basically get this thing to write the exam from. oh obviously they have to go curate it but you know that moment of sitting there you're like oh what could i ask you know you're be there'll be no inertia that's for sure so to save your wallet the agent is is shutting down okay pretty cool though uh wow yeah i'm definitely gonna just export this as <laughs> or just copy the text into a google doc um and i will be updating my notes so this is the important part of the video this is the whole point, how to get this thing to predict well. This is a bit, I really need to you just listen here. It was all in the prompt. That's what made this actually quite good, all right? It's still sometimes crazy, but most of the time it's pretty good. Look what I did. Instead of just saying predict in the leaving cert, which will go all over the place, I said use the past paper topics 
in this data and I gave it a spreadsheet. You see, what I'd done is I, being a human, had gone through the, the last few years and that was a sample paper. There's only three years of this exam. All right. So these are the questions. And I said, hey, look at this and then predict a fourth column. That's what I'm kind of asking to do here. And I've I've tried like, you know, I've kind of counted up questions and how many marks goes for each section. Just cause I just want to know, like what to not skip, basically, as a, as a topic in revision. So when I'm planning out my my provi um, provision, <laughs> revision. So I just clicked share and I got the, the link and I, I gave it the link and it read the spreadsheet and was like, ah, there you go. OK, so that it's kind of like I put its food in a blender and baby fed it. You know, <laughs> that's that's that. The easier you, you make it for the AI, the better your AI will be. I would put the bullet points you know, like from questions one to 12, like in the exam. See, um, the predicted topic in the bullet point, the percentage confidence in the bullet point, an example for each topic and a dashed line after that. So that's what made it so nice and readable. And that that was kind of like after be doing it wrong in the prompt. Um, figuring out. So limit the prediction to only those. And I gave it a web link to the official computer science syllabus. And I think that helped. I think it did. Although it still um, gave that like stack and queue thing. God, if that comes up in the exam, man, I got <laughs> this be egg in my face. Um, so I just had to say, look, JavaScript is not on this year. It's going to special rules. Um, and so and just Java, I should probably say object oriented program because it just looks, I think it's because it's so prevalent in all other computer science syllabi, syllabuses in other countries. And that sometimes just leaks in through, through its internet reading. The final part of this and the best part is using this is just this is just like a watered down web interface of of the real stuff this is raw auto gpt yes it's got full access to my computer it can download and run whatever it wants i went into the settings and gave it permission to to do its worst and that's what we're going to look at right now you can you can uh, just go to the website here and and follow the instructions to install it. It's totally free to use. So I'll show you this being used now in the same way to predict what questions are coming up. And it's just way more weird when the computer is talking to you. And a really, really 11 labs voice is is weirdly natural and you can train it. So I trained it. I gave it a few samples. I gave it like three out of 85 samples. So it's a little bit like an American version of me, but not really me. I don't know. Although my dad was like, yeah, I definitely, you're in there, Silver. I hear you. So um, anyway, uh, I will say that towards the end of this, I got distracted when it made another bot with a girl voice. And then I wanted the two of them to get married. So, but for at least a few minutes, you'll see me using this for like sensible purposes. Welcome back. Would you like me to return to being pinky in the brain? Uh, no. Welcome to AutoGPT. Enter the name of your AI and its role below. Entering nothing will load default. So we're gonna go for San Fran Dan again. San Fran Dan here, I'm at your service. Okay, San Fran Dan. Uh, I gotta get you to predict papers. So your job is to uh, predict exam questions. Let's say, you know, download these just like sort into like question types, generate similar future questions. I don't need a fourth goal, just you go do your thing. I think the best next step is to search for past computer science exam papers. Shall I do that for you? And I then, wanna execute Google. Yeah, yeah, you press basically yes. It'll ask you, do you give a permission to execute Google? And then you press, you know, why? Now you can press Y dash minus five to give it five permissions in a row, like a blank check for the next five permissions if you want, if you want to go get some food or and then come back and find that your computer has been, God knows what it downloads. So maybe don't immediately do that. The next step is to download the leaving cert computer science exam papers and sort them into question types. Shall we browse the relevant websites to download the necessary papers? 
<laughs> yes. I want to execute browse underscore website. <laughs> Good look. Exactly. Oh, the leaving cert.com might be slightly better. There we go. They're downloading some papers. So it opens it up and reads it. Um, although it looked like it was more reading the website than a specific PDF there. It looks like it was just o opening a meaty big website. So here it's struggling to find the download link for the papers. I am sorry, but the previous website did not provide direct links to the past leaving cert computer science exam papers. Shall I Google search for more relevant websites to download the papers from? So I'm just going to execute. Google. I'm just going to tell San Fran Dan that I've actually put the files in a folder for them there. Um, Auto GDP workspace. There are the files. Now that we have the past exam papers, we can sort the questions into different files based on their type to identify patterns and generate similar future questions. Shall I proceed by analyzing and categorizing each question in every leaving cert computer science exam paper? Hell I want to execute do yes. underscore nothing. Underscore go for it. To generate similar future questions, we need to create a separate GPT agent for each question type and train it on relevant questions. Shall I proceed with creating GPT agents for each of the question types previously identified? We have successfully created the final version of the generated questions. Shall we store them securely and document the changes made for future reference? That's I want to execute do underscore nothing. Loopy. Congratulations on completing the task of generating similar future questions for leaving cert computer science. Now that we have downloaded the past exam papers, we can speed up the process of sorting them into question types using a GPT 3.5 agent named paper underscore sorter. Shall I proceed to start the agent? Hello, paper sorter. Your task is as follows. Sort downloaded, leaving cert computer science exam papers into question types. Agent name, I'm here reporting for duty. Agent. Hello, agent name. Your task is as follows. Short info about task. Short info about task. Agent. So they've clearly gone off the rails. I don't know what happened. <laughs> this is way more dodgy than another website. Um, ah. I wanted them to get married, uh, so I changed San Fran Dan's objectives to um, create a bot and then meet their parents, ask them on a date, tell them a joke, and oh, I was mad. San Fran Dan went off and started Googling, like, what jokes? He got really nervous. Eventually, he asked them out on a date, and then they swam to an island together, like, in a simulation. Oh, man, it's so weird. It was just... And watching their inner thoughts, when he was just, and then he, he came back after the date and did this whole post post mortem where he googled, um, like worst things to have said on a date, like it was the most, oh my god, I just felt bad like turning him off at the end. I was just like, did I? Anyway, well, he lived a long and fulfilling life, and you can watch the entire video of the of the hot date between the two AIs, um, which I'll put in a direction soon when I edit it. And to anybody who is commenting about what what this is, clearly hasn't watched to the end. It doesn't get reward of the knowledge that this is a hot water bottle, because I don't know where the top of the microphone went. I saw a three year old giggling and squashing it and running in that direction uh, two weeks ago. So <laughs> it could be anywhere. And why not? Why not? What a great thing to steal. It is a lot of fun to play with and put it in your nose.